Hello. We're back in the MacDonald room today in Liberton Kirk Centre. And our verse for the week, which is from Joshua chapter 24, um, it can be inspiring and encouraging, but it might also be disturbing for reasons I'll explain. It's part of a speech that Joshua made to the Israelite leaders at the very end of his own time of leadership. He has just spent a long time describing to the Israelites all that God has done for them. And then he presents them with a choice. So this verse is from Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. Joshua says, But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your forefathers served beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Now, hearing these words, your response might be something like, what a wonderful, brave, you know, inspiring thing to say. But they might also be something like, what right does Joshua have to make such a decision on behalf of his whole household, his whole family? You see, we live in an age or the age of the individual. We are encouraged to live our own life. We are encouraged to make our own decisions. We are encouraged to forge our own path. And of course, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But it's also good for us to be part of something bigger. It's good to be part of a community where there is collective responsibility, collective decision making, where there's support, where there's care, where we're all in it together. And of course, we have a word for such a community in the English language, and that word is family. You know, when I was very young, I believed what my parents believed. They believed in Jesus, I believed in Jesus. Life was as simple as that. When I got to school age, I began to realize that not everybody believed in Jesus, that there were people who didn't believe in Jesus. And so for me, my faith in Jesus became part of who I was, became part of my identity. By the time I was a teenager, I was beginning to make my own choices about what to believe. I was beginning to find my own way where it came to faith. And it was when I was well into my 20s before I finally, of my own free will, chose to believe in Jesus myself. And I was welcomed back into his family, which is the church. Choose this day for yourselves whom you will serve. But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. When he made this declaration, Joshua would have been getting on in years. He would have been, certainly been a grandfather. He might even have been a great grandfather with a large family. And to me, these words demonstrate the faith he has not only in God, but also in his loved ones. That sense that they all believed in this God who had led them this far. And when it came to the future, they were all in it together. And so here's a question to finish with. When it comes to faith, who do you think you are? Are you an individual forging your own path alone? You don't need anyone else? Or are you part of a family? The family of God. Shall we pray? Loving Father, we thank you for all that you've done for us throughout the years up to this point in our lives. We thank you too that we can face the future knowing that we have been invited to be part of your family, the family of God, and that we're all in it together. 
And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good week.